largest ever fleet of satellites will keep a constant eye on Earth. Satellite images of every place on Earth taken every single day will move one step closer to reality this week when these satellites are launched into space. A San Francisco startup named Planet plans to launch the largest fleet of satellites in history aboard a rocket from India. The 88 Dove imaging satellites will be deployed at an approximate altitude of 500 kilometers on a sun-synchronous orbit. That means they will pass over any given point on the Earth's surface at the same local solar time. Combined with 12 Dove satellites already in space, 100 satellites in total will fly north to south as the Earth rotates beneath them to form a line scanner constellation of satellites. If the launch is successful, Planet expects to capture daily images of the entire Earth. The solar-powered Dove satellites weigh about 4 kilograms each and are equipped with a series of optics and sensors. These include a main camera that can capture images at 3 to 5 meter resolution. The shoebox-sized satellites will continually photograph the surface of the Earth and complete an orbit approximately every 90 minutes. Planet recently acquired Google's Terra Bella satellite business, including its seven high-resolution SkySat satellites. The SkySat satellites are about the size of a cubicle mini-refrigerator. They can capture 90-centimeter resolution images in color and near-infrared. YouTube's ad policies are killing creators, but you can help. Be a hero at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Like deep, deep space? Then stare at these. Porn site seeks funding for out of this world porn shoot. Have you been donating to charity? Stop wasting your money and get behind a real cause. Porn in space. That's right, if a certain porn site can raise enough money, they're gonna send these two adult stars into the cosmos. Not to blow up an approaching asteroid, but to um, do stuff related to blowing an asteroids. NASA won't tell us if sex has ever been attempted or completed in outer space, but considering the cramped quarters, it seems unlikely. But mega porn site Pornhub, don't pretend you never heard of it, cookies don't lie, is trying to raise about three and a half million dollars on Indiegogo to fund Sexplorations, the first space smut shoot. If they get the cash, mature content stars Eva Lovia and Johnny Sins are gonna blast deep into space and even deeper into each other. The revolution will be televised. There's a lot we still don't know. What exact scenes are these pornonauts gonna film? Will they be strapped down? How does a pearl necklace work in zero gravity? These sticky questions aside, we're also not sure where they plan to film this adult masterpiece. The International Space Station is probably a no-no, but we imagine Richard Branson might be okay with some not-so-virgin flights, or perhaps SpaceX might be cool with some Space XXX. The fundraising campaign lasts just 60 days, so if you want to see space balls splash across your computer screen next year, you gotta put your money where your mouth is. 25 bucks gets you a first copy of the film, while $150,000 gets you one of the spacesuits used, or at least taken off, in the film. So what you waiting for. Dig deep into those pockets and give. Give until it hurts. Give and you shall receive. This is one small step for porn stars. One giant leap for porn kind. How much do you plan on pledging? NASA finds more planets than ever before. NASA's Kepler mission, launched in 2009 and with two more years to go, has detected 1,284 new exoplanets including nine worlds that may be able to sustain life. The Kepler Space Telescope orbits the Sun, which itself is orbiting the galaxy. The telescope searches for planets that lie between two major spiral arms of our galaxy. As the telescope travels, it keeps its sensors pointed toward a particular patch in the Milky Way and has a field of view that stretches 3,000 light years from Earth. At the heart of the telescope are focal plane sensors that monitor the brightness of 100,000 stars simultaneously. Specifically, the sensors detect the decrease in brightness that occurs as planets pass in front of their stars. This is called a transit and is much like what happened on May 9, 2016, when Mercury passed between Earth and the Sun. Computer simulations then calculate how likely it is that the dip in the brightness was caused by a planet or an imposter like a star or a brown dwarf. The Kepler mission has verified 1,284 new planets. 550 appear rocky based on their size. Of these 550, nine are located just far enough from their suns to suggest they may contain water. 
The total number of exoplanets discovered now stands at 3,200, and a total of 21 of these may be habitable. The Kepler mission shows that with at least 70 billion stars in our galaxy, there may be billions of habitable Earth-sized planets out there that have yet to be discovered. NASA has close call with Kepler space probe. Engineers spent a long weekend restoring functions on NASA's planet-hunting spacecraft after it powered down recently, just before the start of a new mission. During a scheduled check on April 7th, NASA discovered the Kepler Space Telescope had gone into emergency mode. In this state, the spacecraft relies on its thrusters instead of its reaction wheels, burning more of its fuel supply. The emergency occurred hours before a planned maneuver to point the Kepler towards the center of the Milky Way as part of a new planet hunting campaign. The mission was meant to spot distant planets by watching for the temporary brightening of stars caused by a passing planet's gravity, an effect called gravitational microlensing. With the Kepler nearly 75 million miles from Earth, it takes 13 minutes for any signal to travel to the spacecraft and back, even at the speed of light. Despite the slow communication, engineers were able to stabilize the spacecraft, and it's now back to a fuel-efficient mode. The team will be conducting system checks to ensure the Kepler is healthy enough to begin the new campaign and potentially find out what triggered the emergency.